boys and girls, it's Night Stalker here. Welcome along today to Sun City Siege. Check it to check it out. We're bringing no peasants today. We're taking no prisoners whatsoever and killing everyone we find. As you can see in the top right corner there, the sun's out. So well, we're bringing the Imperial Arcabusiers. You're right, sun's out, gun's out. It's got to be done. I'm going to bring the Paladins with me because they're just great. And my Fort of Brachio Pikemen, um, because they're still... My favourite unit, and they absolutely destroy cavalry and, well, pretty much anything else they touch as well. So let's see how we do today on Sun City. Uh, don't forget, if you'd like to join the Discord server, if you're new to the game and need some help, or even if you're a veteran and just want to come and chat to the team, the description uh, in the video description below you'll find a link to that. And um, yeah, be great to see you there. All right, here we are with our beautiful loading and animation. Now, I don't know if you saw at the start of the loading screen there, there's actually only one maul in this entire match. Just the one. So that's going to be pretty exciting. You don't get matches like that very often. <laughs> um, let's go stick our paladin somewhere nice and safe. Safe earth, safe is better. Let's see if we can get a cannon. No, that one's taken, that one's taken. Um, those two are probably going to end up taken. Well, I guess I'll go F myself and stand around doing nothing for a little while. Um, I guess we'll go and see what we can do to guard the gate against cavalry sallyouts. <laughs> this guy's shooting flaming arrows into the wall. Good on him. Those are really hard to shoot. Do you find Hawachas hard to shoot? I really do. Hey, see this? A lot of people always ask me about my attires. Uh, this is the Korachin Mirror Armour. It's the, the the progression, you know, the level 100 armor for level 4. What do you reckon? Nice and shiny, huh? The horse is the same. It's the Kurichin Mirror Horse Armor. Uh, again, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, you know, unfortunately, in English-speaking countries, they only ever teach us one language at school. It's pretty shocking. So we, we're pretty bad, us English speakers, at adapting to other, other countries' languages. So be it. Hopefully that'll change, huh? But it doesn't look like we're actually going to be sallied out against. It's still time, I guess. Now would be the time if they're going to do it. Get our flamey death stick thrower. Oh, somebody already destroyed it. Never mind. So I am just looking at the map. If you've been paying attention to the map, and of course you were. You're all great players and you always do check the map all the time. You can see over on the left-hand side there that the cavalry sally actually came out that door. So, let's see, as soon as this goes busted down, I will start shooting and see if there's any calf behind it that we can kill. Fire! Nothing. Now, if you're familiar with the Sun City map and you play a lot, you're a veteran player, you'll realise that it actually is much more common for the cavalry to come out the, the left-hand side there under the B, B point, the big gate there. It's actually much more common on this map to be charged out of there. Uh, it's easier for the enemy to, uh, to assemble there, and they find less resistance. So anyway, my paladins are standing around getting bored, so it's prime time to put them in good use. See these guys? Those are Black Dragon Archers. They're the premium archer unit. They're not terrible, but they are a low-tier archer unit, and low-tier archers, there's not really a place in the game for them, unfortunately. What have we got going on here? They look like vanguards or something like that. Prefecture archers. Somebody's having a good go at them with a cannon, so whoever that is, good on you. We got any support? Not anyone that's alive. There's lots of blue bodies lying face down there. I still want to go charging up here because you see all the people on the left hand siege tower, the enemies I mean. Um, if I push too far in and push towards A, they're just going to hit me in the back and that'll be the end of us. So I need at least another unit up with us. Even a unit of peasants would be alright because we have got sort of three heroes here. I just need something to keep the enemy off me while I essentially just turn around. Um, but we'll get ready, because there's only heroes holding the A point, so it's more or less undefended. I'm just super conscious of these guys. But our guys are pushing up now, so to now is the moment, I reckon. Because those heroes can't beat paladins by themselves, especially not when they're archers. So let's just creep forward. Creep, creep, creep. What have we got? Oh, we've got a bunch of heroes. All right, we're doing this. All right. Here's a wee trick, charge, and then use your CC abilities to smash the unit down, and you'll absolutely just decimate it. EZ. 
just a whole bunch of archers here. So also, so on thing, see this maul? I'm going to kill him. See, I bunch them all up, hit the V key. Microwing the unit. Bunch them all up, hit the V key. And it really concentrates their attacks, especially with units that are really tightly packed like paladins. These condos really fancied the chances, didn't they? <clears throat> this is going to hurt though, those are Azaps. And so he did the same to me, knocked me down and then charged. But even on a good day, Azaps aren't going to beat paladins in a charge. So they're slowly going to get mangled, although these heroes are taking the whole toll on my unit. All this time I'm keeping an eye on the map. There's no more people coming to save them, and we've got uh, javelin sergeants in the way anyway, and we're happily capturing A. Now we've got some stalwarts, so let's do this whole thing again. Oh, that was unfortunate, but we will now get sort of behind them with some of the unit. And that's what you want to do. Don't waste your time smashing the front of a stalwart unit. Go in on the back, or CC them and hit them where they're down, where they can't use their shield. And they take massive damage as well. Unfortunately that is the end of the Paladin unit, but we did our job. Not only did we pave the way for the people to get onto A, we then prevented them, uh, the enemy from retaking A. So really that was well, pretty well played if I do say so myself. I killed a whole bunch of enemies too. Alright, it's a very vulnerable spot this on the map. When you find yourself in the spot, just be aware that you're actually very, very vulnerable. Um, we'll see what we can do here to do it these berserkers who seem to be forgotten. Hmm. I just don't want to get caught by that pole axe. If he pins me to the ground, whoops, too close. If he pins me to the ground, the berserkers will just chew me up. As it stands, they're chewing me up anyway. Here's a nice handy tent to hide behind. We just stash ourselves here. You know, when you're healing, don't stand in the open. I see so many people healing in the open. <laughs> you, can, you can do better than that, you know. Don't panic. You don't need to rush, 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 rush all the time. Do things properly. You know, go and find a nice wall to hide behind or something like that. All right, sun's out, guns out. Let's bring the the bangy boys. So, if you're not familiar with the, uh, the Imperial Arquebusiers, uh, they have a volley fire ability. This. Well, actually that's just a usual fire. When you press the 2 key, um, they'll all line up in little 3 rows and start shooting very quickly and that, that fire will be extremely, extremely accurate and damaging. There, there's no unit in the game that does more damage per second than the Imperial Arquebusiers. These ones are currently top line because I'm just playing around with it a little bit, but I prefer the bottom line. You just do a lot more damage, trust me. <laughs> I'm a little bit stuck with them. If you're wondering what the skin is on the unit, uh, this is the Sea Devil skin, and well, you can get that in the My Dot Game store. This one here on the left, and use my my Night Stalker code if you're interested in it as well. I quite like them on the guns; it makes them look like conquistadors. And when I get out my um, Fortabracchio pikemen soon, you'll see that I've actually got the same skin on them too. Thanks, my games. Right. Little trick that I'm doing there with the um, Imperial Arquebusiers is that if you move slightly, use the one key to fire. Move slightly, use the one key to fire. You'll actually get a faster rate of fire and kind of like mini volleys. Oh my goodness, our shield wall is paying attention. This is the end of whatever these are palace guards. <clears throat> Holy smokes, they're just going to get destroyed. That is a short sword though, he's going to bust the line, but he's then going to get shot in the face by Namcans and Imperial Arquebusiers. Um, pro tip. Don't try and hero, you know how you see Nemcan sometimes and you can ride into the unit, jump off and kill the unit before they kill you? You cannot do that with Imperial Arquebusiers. Uh, they will kill you. They will kill you every time. Even as you saw there, a short sword with his um, iron sides on. Right, here we go. Here's the volley fire I'm talking about. Very accurate, very damaging. Even at ranges beyond where you'd expect muskets to, to hit often. And um, the other thing about the, the Imperial Arquebusiers is that they tend to prefer targeting heroes. I can't explain why, but the more you play with this unit, it will become very obvious that they prefer to target heroes over units. Looks like we're done there. We're fully healed, we're fully armed. Let's go find someone else to blow holes in. <clears throat> I actually quite like this armour. I haven't played with it um, for quite a long time. Probably not since season four itself. And boy, this skin looks great on the gunners, doesn't it? Little conquistadors. <laughs> I'm going to put them in here because no doubt someone's going to try and charge us in the back. 
That's what I would try and do. Are they going to shoot? Often you can't shoot through these fences, even though they look like you can. We'll give that a crack, actually. Here we go. That's exactly what I was worried about. And no, we can't. That's a shame. Anyway, we're going to stop this charge because we're a longsword and we can. Here we go. Beauty. I thought we were going to lose one there with that, uh, that hussar that managed to wander into the corral. Not to be. I am watching the map. There's more people coming around, so we need to be ready for that. No, our team drove them off. That's lovely. Um, and it looks like at least one of the units is trying to gonna flank down past the main gate and come into our left-hand flank. So we'll have to be wary of that. Um, we have a lot of ranged here. That's not ideal. But it is what it is. So if we can get a cheeky shot over here. When you do the, the one key and choose a direction and fire, um, the Imperial Arquebusiers snap fire rather quickly and reasonably accurately too. Um, there's a whole lot of stuff in the, the literature for the unit um, that says that they're quite inaccurate. That's just not the, not the case in, in practice. Let's see what we can do here. <clears throat> not much it seems. There we are. Uh, let's see if, if that tree breaks open the unit and see if we can do some damage to it. I'm not really liking taking these uh, fiery death balls. One thing about Imperial Arquebusiers is that they fall over in a strong breeze. They've got very, very low armor and very, very low hit points. So they do die very miserably if they actually get targeted. High DPS and very, very, very typical glass cannon. You even look at them angrily and they faint. <laughs> um, let's chuck some heals on our pike guard here. <clears throat> we'll be needing those soon. And we're going to have another go at the trip here. Going to land probably three of them. Be between two and four probably. They are a little bit inaccurate, the trip shots. We'll see how it goes. But it would be really nice to crack, crack open that unit completely. Oh, that was beauty. Next one. Double beauty, triple beauty. Oh my goodness. What's that? There's only what, eight or ten of them left. Let's see if we can shoot some, eh? Little bang boys. Come over here and use your boomsticks, lads. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, yeah, short sword. It's just going to get shot up by my gunners. Will they kill him? Yes. So nasty, the volley fire. So, so damaging. Just trying to keep an eye. You can see the enemy are trying to flank us. See back down by the C point. Now, to give you a tip, if you're a new player, um, one of the greatest pieces of advice I can give you is that you should always keep aware of your map. You know, I'm glancing at my map once every... Or five to ten seconds, and that's and I'm trying to do it more, right? Oh, 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 alt, alt, alt. No cavalry charge for you, and then of course my ho your horses will be full of bullets very quickly. But it looks like we're going to do this. They've got nothing they can push with. Oh, he's a little unit of shields. <clears throat> Hopefully we can bang them over. But I don't want to stick my nose out too far in the front because those creeks rats over there will shoot me. But these guys are a lot weaker than they look. You can just break into the unit very quickly. Here's a classic mistake. If you're going to use shields, don't use them in a shieldron formation. Do you see how easy it is once you get inside the shieldron formation to be able to just uh, kill the rest of the unit because they're all clo closely bunched and showing their backs? The shieldron formation is the worst formation for shields. You've got to avoid it unless you're trying to hide them around a little corner or something, you know? What a, uh, oh, they're out of ammo. <laughs> oh, we got a victory anyway. That was lovely. What a great game. I felt like I played pretty well there, actually. Not too bad. Did 1.8 million damage. Pure like a boozy has got the MVP. The Ford Abrachios didn't even make it to the uh, to the battle there. Such is life. Expedition Knights did great. Here we go. Not too bad overall. Enemy leader did great too. He's the one that got the uh, the award that I like getting. <laughs> So, how'd we do? Overall, not too bad. You know, we did lose our paladins up on the wall there by the A point, but I think we, we made them worth their while. You know, we got 50 kills there, and I don't think any of them were peasants off the top of my head. Just thinking, there were some archers, there were spear sergeants, there were stalwarts, there were conditory, and there were azaps. So yeah, no peasants. They were all rock-solid units, actually. Really good. Um, and 
the Imperial Arquebusiers, just little bit by little bit, got whittled down once we moved past the sea point. But overall, they also did really, really strongly as well. And quite, quite pleased with how they played today. But um, anyway, that's the end of the game. So I hope you learned something new, or you just enjoyed the game. Thanks for coming to my channel.